Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Dieckmann condensation reaction and as you already know, this is a very popular reaction and also it's very simple, it's the variation or basically it is the intramolecular version of the Claisen condensation. I already have uploaded a video previously on Claisen condensation. If you want, you can check it out. Now, if you understand once what is Claisen condensation, is it is the condensation between the esters, right? Just like we have the aldol molecule, which is the condensation between the aldehydes or ketone, Claisen condensation takes place between the esters to give you a beta keto ester. All right, the end product is a beta keto ester in the Claisen condensation. However, since you are uh, having the intramolecular version, which is the Dieckmann condensation, the end product is going to be the same. So as you see, this is still a beta keto ester only. This is the ester group. This is the alpha carbon, right? This is the alpha carbon. So it's a, it's still a beta keto ester. All right. So yes, let's proceed and let's quickly uh, see how the mechanism is going to be. So guys, if you have already drawn the mechanism for Claisen condensation, you would know that in the presence of this ester, uh, the ethoxy group, what you can expect, yes, what can you expect is you are uh, going to remove this proton from here. Let's say this is CO2ET. Remove this proton from here, which is taken up by the ethoxide proton abstraction. Further, after the proton abstraction, you are going to have the ester enolate like this O minus and OET. All right, I hope that you can follow this. Now, the ester enolate, the oxygen, uh, the negative charge falls back, and from this carbon, there is going to be an attack on the carbonyl carbon of the ester and when the uh, bond opens up and falls back you are going to have the removal of the ethoxy group so ultimately what is happening is guys you just have the intramolecular you just have the cyclization reaction isn't it this is the cyclization you have and from this carbon so you get a five member ring like this this is the five member ring that you form and there goes the remaining ester part now don't think that we started with the ethoxide and you are going to get back the ethoxide the catalyst is regenerated don't think like that why because again this uh, ethoxide uh, group which is generated is going to take up this proton and it is still going to give you that stable uh, enolate right just a second it's still going to give you that stable enolate which is going to form just like this all right yes i hope that you can uh, understand what i've written see the ethoxide is not regenerated when it is removed from the uh, ester it is going to take up one of the more acidic protons and then it uh, is going to drive the reaction forward just like we did in the Claisen condensation reaction okay so a stable enolate is what we are resulting in and the product after hydrolysis or after aqueous workup is the beta keto ester again just that the reaction is the intramolecular reaction so intramolecular Claisen condensation you call the Dieckmann condensation all right so now we are going to see some examples of this reaction this is example number one and what you are going to do is stop the video do it by yourself and then I'll tell the mechanism okay be honest guys use your mind cultivate your mind a little bit all right so we have the ome all right not the methyl over here the ome over here and yes co2 me one more over here on this side and what do you see the product is already given like all the videos you have to draw the mechanism and what you see you see a hexamethyl diacylyl base over here all right and it's going to take up a proton surely it's going to take up a proton now we are having two enolyzable ester it can take up a proton from here also or it can take up a proton from here also yes both of these are enolyzable ester groups then why specifically it is taking the elect the proton from this side yes i hope that you understand that this carbon is close to the nitrogen and when that happens 
yes if this carbon is close to the nitrogen either the nitrogen is doing resonance if it is not doing resonance then it is showing the minus i effect and if it is showing the minus i effect definitely the negative charge comes onto this carbon and the enolate that you get the enolate that you get is going to be like this o minus and ethoxy group and this one remains as the ester so this is the selectivity all right so this is not going to be ethyl it's just out of habit that i write ethyl all the times it's a methyl group okay right over here all right so yes here it is the other part of the molecule remains the same no reaction takes place in the other part of the molecule so yes all of the groups are going to remain the same until and unless we are uh, doing some kind of deprotection both of these are alcohol protected alcohols right yes so what we have now we are going to do intramolecular reaction intramolecular claisen condensation which is called the diekmann condensation and here this is what you have the bond opens up and when it falls back the methoxy group is going to leave and ultimately what are you having you are having a carbonyl group right mind the positions from this carbon so we can say that from this carbon connected to nitrogen you are going to have the yes the linking the carbon carbon new bond formation this is it this is what you get and on this side everything remains the same all right both of the alcohols are still protected stereochemistry same everything now yes because how to explain the stereochemistry because we are having all of these groups below the plane the ester would stay away from them as far as possible and a trans configuration is going to be more stable that is why the ester is now above the plane and try to understand this thing guys that the ester group is free to attack from above or below the plane why because this is a it is forming the enolate enolate could be formed uh, enolate is basically planar all right and when it is attacking from this carbon it is a planar species which is attacking another planar species so either it could be both of them could be above and below like this all right or they can just change their positions like this it's a very simple uh, model to understand okay either the ester could be above or it could be below so here in this case it is above why because the uh, protected alcohol groups are below so this gives you a more stable product all right a more stable product which is right over here now we move onwards and i also explain why are we having the anion formation over here also ponder about it later when you draw this by yourself another example example number 2 that we see over here all right so first of all as always stop the video do it by yourself so i am just going to consider this part of the molecule yes because there is no reaction in any other part the this part remains the same right same thing it is even this ring is also the same so we are just going to consider only this part okay so let's see guys what do we have we have the ester we have two ester groups as always but here the condition is more favorable dekho that is why we get 61% of the product the condition is more favorable because we only have one enolizable ester what is enolizable guys what is enolizable ester that is towards uh, this ester group only we are having the protons the uh, the alpha carbon to the other ester does not have a proton all of these are connected to carbon right to ye sare carbon carbon bonds and here we are having the protons so only one enolizable ester we are having now it's a unidirectional uh, reaction what we can do is let me just draw the five membered ring first yes this is how you are going to form the enolate i guess o minus and oet the other ester remains like this ome all right and when the bond falls up to the carbonyl carbon here this is how the attack is going to take place the methoxide removes out all right definitely there is one more carbon let me just write r 
let me just write all of this group as r okay so i hope that you are able to understand and see what is happening if not then try to stop the video and see the structures properly yes so let's see this is a five member ring over here here comes the r group once again and from over here since the methoxide is removed so you are going to get directly a double bonded oxygen and the stereochemistry on this carbon does not change it is exactly the same so you had the ester over here the carbonyl carbon got attacked from this carbon so you don't have change of uh, configuration onto this carbon this is the adjacent carbon so that is why same stereochemistry if the ester is below the plane it would be below the plane only all right this is what you get now this is the product of the first reaction the first step is the Dieckmann reaction Dieckmann condensation all right what about the second step guys yes what do you think is it a beta keto ester what does a beta keto ester do when it is reacted with the acid it is going to be hydrolysis of the ester hydrolysis of the ester and further reflux conditions are also going to give you decarboxylation so first of all let's just convert it into acid let's just convert it into the acid all right so this is going to be a below the plane okay and this is going to be above the plane just like we did all right and here is the whole r group we are not going to write the r group okay so hydrolysis gives you the acid now further the same condition is going to give you reflux uh, the reflux condition is going to give you decarboxylation also and how do you do a decarboxylation in the beta keto ester you uh, beta keto acid you do it like this that definitely it is going to be assisted right the reaction is going to be assisted all right not like this guys it is going to be assisted by this oxygen by this carbonyl group let's say this is OH yes right over here the R group so this is what you get the removal of the acid and it is going to form the enol structure further after the uh, tautomerism step you can write the ketone back again all right this is very very easy okay so this is how it is going to be the ketone back again and on this carbon you are having another five membered ring which is connected to r so this is your product this part of the molecule is your product here it is so what are all of these steps the first step over here is the condensation reaction intramolecular ester condensation the second step over here is ester hydrolysis followed by the uh, decarboxylation step of the beta keto acid third it is the uh, tautomerism, uh, tautomerism and that is why you get the product which is a carbonyl molecule all right so i think that this was understandable now further you can try out one more example this is example number three okay so yes try to do this by yourself as i always say you might find it a little bit confusing but it's very very simple all right now let's begin so again you have a bulky base now this is a very strong base what is a strong base going to do it's going to take away a proton again we have two ester groups this is one of the ester group and the other ester group is like this all right this is another ester group but which one is the enolyzable ester definitely this ester is not enolyzable because the alpha carbon does not have a proton to lose the other carbon the other ester over here is the enolyzable ester this is what you have to identify Abhi agar ye enolyzable hai, what are you going to do you are going to write the uh, molecule like this ar2 let's say there is some other ring all right very easy now so this is ch2 cf3 right and also see there is one very minor detail that there is ch2 cf3 now the cf3 group 
इज देयर टू मेक श्योर दैट द कार्बन इन कार्बन इज़ वेरी इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक बिकॉज इस टाइप के जो ग्रुप्स होते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द माइनस आई इफेक्ट दे मेक द कार्बन इन कार्बन ऑल्सो वेरी इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव राइट सो येस द इनोल इज बींग द इनोलेट इज बींग जनरेटेड थ्रू दिस कार्बन एंड द अटैक इज डन लाइक दिस एंड द होल ग्रुप रिमूव सो हाउ मैनी मेम्बर ड्रिंग अगेन वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव फाइव मेम्बर ड्रिंग and here is the ketone group here is the carbonyl this is what you have one ar2 over here and the other ar1 all right so this is what you have now again as it goes that you are having since this part is already ester and you are again having the beta keto ester if you are having three equivalents of uh, tertiary butoxide the butoxide can again use one of its moles one of its molecules to take away the acidic proton isn't it you still have more base in the medium all right this is always a minus which is becoming a plus yes to ye minus hai and it's going to take up this proton from here all right and after that you are going to get the formation of an alcohol like this and tell me why is it stable is it just the enol formation yes looks like yes this is just the enol formation guys and why is the enol stable because first of all there is an aromatic group over here so the enol can do resonance into the aromatic group it can do resonance through this double bond into the aromatic group 1 and again it can do resonance into the carbonyl like this so there are three reasons that why this double bond or this enol system is going to be stable all right so yes this is what you get also an alpha beta unsaturated ester also the enol system right so yes this is your final and stable product in this situation right so all right guys i hope that this video helped you in understanding the condensation reaction and if you want you can also follow me on an academy i am a csir net educator over there and i teach for chemical sciences all right and thank you so much for coming up and listening out if you like the video please give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends guys i hope it's going to be really good and helpful also new videos are coming up and also don't forget to look uh, look into the description all right all the important links are there in the description below and i'll take a leave bye everyone see you very very soon